Sometimes issues related to warehouse work come not from items or hazards in the warehouse, but from the actual work itself. For example, repeated lifting, bending, reaching, awkward body positioning, and repetitive tasks can cause musculoskeletal disorders, or MSDs. Common MSDs are shoulder injuries, carpal tunnel syndrome, and tendinitis. Fortunately, there are solutions that can be put in place to help limit these injuries. For example, chronic neck pain from looking up repeatedly when receiving items to be loaded onto high shelves or storage mezzanines can be addressed through using camera systems to guide loading onto high spaces. Other MSDs typically associated with receiving loads are body vibrations, back disorders, and dock shock, which is the whole body movements caused by constant jolting and jarring over bumps and gaps on a dock. These can be addressed by making sure cracks on the floors are filled to ensure smooth transitions, dock levelers are used where appropriate, and any seats provide proper lumbar support. Another hazardous scenario that can lead to MSDs like sprains and strains to the back, shoulders, and wrists is picking up large cases for loading and shipping. Some solutions to help limit these injuries include reducing case weights to 35 pounds or less, and raising the working surface for cases over 35 pounds to waist height for easier lifting. It's also helpful to develop a rotation system for workers loading cases. Limiting the amount of time one worker is placing stress on specific muscle areas can provide whole body and localized muscle recovery. Injuries to smaller muscle groups like hands, wrists, and feet often result from the repetitive movements involved in the picking of smaller items for packing. Anti-fatigue mats and shoes can provide arch and cushion support for your feet. Keeping item weights to between two and 10 pounds, depending on how they're picked up, can also prevent hand and wrist fatigue. Hand trucks, pallet jacks, and other material selection and handling equipment can definitely help mitigate some of these personal risk hazards. But even then, they must be used carefully and intelligently. Many larger warehouses and distribution centers also use forklifts, but as with introducing any equipment into the work environment, they also pose their own set of risks. 